here into the situation room. Our brand new CNN commentator, Kate Bedingfield, she served as communications director in the Biden White House. Guys, thanks to all of you for joining us. Kate, what do you make of DeSantis's plan now to run this new insurgent? for political revenge. And then, of course, in keeping with his you know, normal behavior, Trump has basically said the quiet part out loud. Look, uh, one of the parts of your story uh, is that you were anonymous. You famously posted criticism of Trump when you worked inside of the Trump administration, but, but you didn't use your name. You then published a book about it. Uh, I wonder, as you see a huge swath of the Republican base right now, distrustful of the government, they believe that there is a deep state that's working against, uh, you know, worked against Trump. Uh, in fact, that idea undergirds what a lot of Trump's former advisors are now trying to do, which is to completely dismantle wide swaths of the federal government. Do you think that by saying what you said anonymously at the beginning, you may have contributed to that? Yeah, I actually think I do. And I'm glad you asked the question, Abby. You're one of the first to ask me that question that directly. It's one of the things I talk about in this book is it's ironic coming from me, but I think one of the greatest dangers to our democracy is anonymity. It's the fact that across the Republican Party, you have these politicians who in private will tell people like me, they think Donald Trump is a danger to democracy and a threat. And then in public, they'll go praise him in the MAGA movement. That anonymity is putting us in danger. We need those people to attach their names to that criticism. Now, in my own case, my regret is not that I sounded the alarm anonymously. In fact, I do very strongly support whistleblowers having the protection of anonymity if they need them. My regret is that I didn't come forward sooner because I realized that by coming forward, it made it easier for colleagues of mine to do the same. It lowered that bar of dissent because there's always strength in numbers. And I think that's what the current Republican field needs to realize Chris Christie should not be seen as an outlier. His other people in the Republican primaries need to say what they tell their friends and family in private about Donald Trump.